I'm Carol. Is a scientific enterprise a challenge for the Christian faith? Well, part of the problem is with the concepts scientific enterprise and also concepts of Christian faith. Uh, if by scientific enterprise we mean the systematic attempt to understand as best we can the nature of nature and the nature of human nature, to come to a better understanding of what the world is like and what we are like, such an enterprise is not only not a challenge to Christian faith, but is something which Christian faith encourages. Because uh, for a Christian, the created order represents in some, step, in some sense what we say in Latin is the vestigia dei, the footsteps of God. So a scientific enterprise, the role of reason broadly understood for understanding nature and human nature is a way to come to understand God so far as one with reason alone can come to understand God. So for a Christian, God is the author of all truth, both that truth discovered in science and not just in science, but also in philosophy and the like. Uh, but your question was about the scientific enterprise. A Christian shouldn't be afraid of science. Uh, in fact, a Christian should embrace science. It doesn't mean a Christian has to become a scientist, but it does mean that a Christian needs to recognize that whatever reason discovers about the world is already, a, in a sense, a gift from God. Since God creates human beings with reason, with the ability to understand the world so far as we can understand the world, uh, thus uh, to be afraid of reason and science is to be afraid of a gift from God. And that would seem passing strange for a believer, to be afraid of a gift from God. To use reason and to use science is uh, to understand better who we are and uh, what our purpose is in the world, to the extent that science speaks to those questions, is something which a Christian ought to do. Thank you.